well I just wanted to do this little piece about brick spalling now I've sadly been nurturing and keeping these pieces since winter when I found them on the ground in the back street and this is uh, pieces of spalled brick where moisture has got into the brickwork <coughs> excuse me the moisture has then frozen and blown the face off the brick if you know what I mean by, ex by expansion so there's the face of the brick and there's the part which has blown away from the main substrate due to freezing action and quite rarely I've never seen this before this is another piece that has come off a brick by freezing action look how wafer thin that is so that must have settled to the ground almost like a snowflake or a piece of paper it's oh let's say half a mil thick you can see it's a face of brick where again water has got in loosened it and off it's fell and you often see uh, brickwork don't you where it's scabbed off like this and in extreme cases you can see where bricks have actually been hollowed out because once the uh, fired face of the brick has been blown away then the substrate behind it is weaker still and more subject to wind erosion and such like and you'll often find it round the back of houses because a builder back in those days when bricks were handmade and sort of hand fired instead of machine made the best bricks were erected at the front of the house to make it look posh and bonny and like the, the lesser quality bricks were used around on the back elevations so that's where you, sh where you usually find this sort of thing and all this is down to pointing of course I mean cement pointing let me just get me a bit of paper so there we have an illustration and sometimes you see this is a fashion the black outline is the brick the cross hatched bit is the mortar bed and they strike the mortar bed in on the top of the brick below and water migrating down the wall can then pull just there it can leach into the brick and then when it freezes it blows the face off A better form of pointing not that I'm a builder or an expert I'm just saying if you I think this is called struck struck pointing and you can strike it the wrong way as per there or you can strike it the right way and this gives you water shedding because water or rain falling down the face of the brick then falls back out of the joint and down the next brick below and so forth and it goes down and down and down and doesn't puddle up and leach into the brickwork thus blowing it another form of pointing is this uh, this this concave again the black outline is for brick and the mortar beds and the blue is for supposed rainfall or moisture again when it's sort of concave like that it throws the water back out onto the brick and it trickles down and so forth down to the ground thus when it freezes you can possibly avoid that sort of thing now I'll just uh, show you a couple of places where where this sort of spalling has occurred on the wall face so here's an example of uh, the lesser quality brick around the back of elevations and up there you can see places where the brickwork has spalled due to that frost action that I was on about where the face of the brick has just fallen off and indeed I think from here probably is where that thin flake that I've just been showing you came from here's an example of that concave pointing which throws the water back out this wasn't done by me incidentally I like to I like to strike my pointing but uh, this is how, how it was throws the water back out down the face it trickles down, gets thrown out of the next one, so on and down, you know. Here's another example of brick spalling. 
is actually here. I've this is pointing done after the the event by me where it struck. So it brings it back out. Struck pointing. Again, this is a later patch up work by myself. But it kicks the water out down the face and so on and down and down and down. And as with most things, there's usually a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things. Like I say, I'm no expert, but uh, you know, th th these, these remnants of brickwork, in fact, put me in mind of the uh, sort of geological process of erosion, where on a rocky hillside there might be fissures and crevices in the bedrock and in winter moisture gets in, it gets cold, it expands as it freezes and thus you find scree coming from mountain sides and, and rocky outcrops and uh, another related feature is when you're building a dry stone structure like a barn, say, as I used to build them in dotted among the countryside. If you lay the rocks so they tilt outwards of the building footprint slightly, then any water running down the wall will tip itself back out. If you lay the rocks so they're tipping into the structure, then water running down the outside will lip onto the projecting rock and then run inside you see so there's a right that's the wrong way and that's the right way so it tips the water out as each course of slab work builds up and up and up so it's all interesting stuff just using simple principles gravity and uh, and such like all right sorry I know this is a little technical piece but uh, I've never seen that before I thought I'd just capture it on film a, a brick spalling wafer. Look at that. Magic. Not magic. Interesting. Mm -hmm.